he's really sweet at home. You know, he's like an angel there, but he's otherwise he's a little nervous and shy. We got him during COVID, so he hasn't had a whole lot of socialization. But he is kind of unpredictable with people <laughs> and other dogs. He does not seem particularly friendly with other dogs. My sister has a black lab and they did not get along. So we've been afraid to really introduce them to other mm. dogs. Um, he, he's not a bad walker, but he pulls. He wants to be in front all the time. He's definitely like the alpha, <laughs> particularly with me. With my husband, he's a little more relaxed, but with me, you know, he, he wants to be in front. We've, got, we've gotten some training with him with positive reinforcement, but um, he does this thing where we take him on a walk and about halfway through, he kind of turns on me a little bit. Like he, I don't know if it's because he doesn't want to be finished with the walk. He's predicting that it's almost over and then he'll start barking at me and almost like trying to nip at my wrists, like on the leash and everything. And it takes me a while to pull him out of it, but you can see <laughs> confident guy. He's a confident guy, yes. Two years he's, just, old? he's stubborn. He's two years old. He doesn't listen. He doesn't listen that well. Although I will say he does gradually mature and he's gotten better. Like and again in the house he listens. He's pretty good. Like we can tell him to go lay in his bed. He goes and lays in his bed. He does pretty good there. But when we're outside of the house he's super distracted. Super, super distracted. And then like positive reinforcement training wasn't working because the treats would not even draw his attention back. <laughs> yes. Um, and he does, I will tell you, he does drool like that. You probably could see it right there. He, yeah. He gets a little nervous. He starts to drool a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. I'll take the lead. Domino just got dropped off a Boston Terrier. He's either pulling or refusing to move. As you can see, like right now, I'm pulling as hard as I can and he doesn't want to move. But if he wants to go somewhere, he pulls me as hard as he can. So, we got work to do.